in this meeting and I pass the vote through the instapol opportunity that would be given for about 15 minutes at the end of the meeting. Dear shareholders, in compliance with the applicable MC and CD circulars, the notice convening this EGM along with the explanatory statement were dispatched to all the shareholders through email on 5th June 2023 and the same were also uploaded on the company's website and the website of the stock exchanges. Trust that you all have read the EGM notice and with your permission, I take them as read. The following resolutions were passed as ordinary resolutions under the special business for approval of the members. Special business ordinary resolution to remove Sri GYV Victor, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer who is under suspension of the company with effect from 31st March 2023. Extension of Directorship of Kepnes Divakar as Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, additional charge of the company. Till the new incumbent joins the post of Managing Director and CEO or for a period of one year effective from 31st March 2023. That is up to 30th March 2024, whichever is earlier. Please note that Kepnes Divakar is not entitled for any additional monetary benefits as MD and CEO additional charge of the company, except two benefits and card for official use as approved and recommended by the Nomination and Remuneration Committee. Appointment of Dr. Madhya Nangamuthu as additional director and chairman of the company with effect from 19th May 2023. As per the SEBI regulations, the appointment of the directors by the board is to be approved by the shareholders within three months from the date of appointment of the director. The next general body meeting is scheduled to be held only in September 2023. Kepnes Divakar has been appointed with effect from 1st April 2023 and Dr. Madhya Nangamuthu has been appointed with effect from 19th May 2023. As such, the approval of the appointment of the directors is being taken in this EGM. I further inform that the company had offered e voting facility to all the shareholders from 25th June 23 to 27th June 23. Shareholders who have not voted to e voting shall participate in the poll, which is now activated. The company has appointed Mr. Sachin Agarwal, partner Agarwal Asan Associates, practicing company secretaries, New Delhi, as a scrutinizer to scrutinize the e voting process as well as voting at this AGM, who is also present in this meeting. The company is providing 15 minutes window for the shareholders who have not exercised their votes during the e-voting period to cast their votes electronically. The results of the combined e-voting exercised earlier during the e-voting period and now during this meeting will be placed on the website of the company and will also be forwarded to the stock exchanges where the equity shares of the company are listed. I now request our MD and CEO to update the shareholders on the process followed for suspension and removal of Sri Jivavi Victor. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Uh shareholders and uh, directors and uh, other shareholders. Based on the complaints received against uh, appointment of Sri GVB Victor, MDC award, business department investigated into the matter and submitted a report to the display authority and uh, submitted the report based on which the chairman has a display authority has exercised his powers and placed him under suspension with effect from 13th July 2022. As per the procedure, Independent inquiry was conducted by Dr. Meena, IAS chairperson of Kuchin Port Authority. Based on the report, NRC, that nomination and renomination committee, recommended removal of Sri Victor from the board of directors and the company. A board in its 347th meeting held on 30th March 2023 resolved to remove Sri Victor subject to approval of shareholders. Sri Victor submitted his appeal before the board as per the CDA rules of the company. It is to inform you all that the board in its meeting on 349th, the board of directors on 18th May 2023 disposed of his appeal as appeal was without any merits. Accordingly, resolution was presented before the esteemed share shareholders for their consideration. It is further informed that the representation received from GYV Victor has been sent to all the shareholders of the company on their registered emails on 15-6-2023 under section 169 of the Companies Act 2013. With the permission of all the shareholders, I shall take the same as read. Thank you very much. I now request our chairman to please cast the vote of thanks. Thank you. Any participation from uh, Mr. Victor? He is there. Did we ask him to join? He is not there, sir. I want to give a natural uh, justice to him. And uh, if he is there, I will ask him to speak. If he is not there, we will close this. Sir, right now he is not available in this meeting. 
All right. Then go ahead. We'll close this proceedings and uh, let me thank all the participants and the shareholders. If nothing else is there, you know, we'll close this. Great, sir. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I would now uh, invite the members to have not uh, cast their votes to do so through e-voting facility provided to them, which will remain open for 15 minutes from now. I now declare the meeting is closed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us today and for your ongoing confidence in the company. I wish to stay. I wish you all to stay healthy and then sick. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. With the permission of the chair, we'll be closing this meeting. And we'll be yeah, keeping yeah, it ahead, open for 15 ahead. minutes for voting, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all the shareholders. Thank you. Thank you.